Hello everyone, it's Jay here from Windows Phone Central. Uh, we're going to give you a little sneak peek hands on today with our Windows 8 app, which I've got running here on a Surface tablet. Uh, we were hoping to get this to you sometime before Christmas, but uh, it turns out we've, uh, there's been a lot more work than anticipated and I've not quite managed to get there. Uh, but we're going to announce today a public beta that we'll be bringing to you very soon. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to give you a little hands on, show you how the app's going to work. Um, so this will be it on the Surface, as you'll see shortly. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. So if we start here on the home screen, you can see our live tile will be available. This is the same live tile that you can see on uh, if you pin the website currently to the uh, to the full size uh, to your start screen. And um, we sort of do it in large, medium, and in the standard small sizes. Uh, if we go ahead and tap into that uh, option. You'll see here's the app, and the first thing you see is the sort of full screen uh, image that you uh, that we have hopefully in high res for. Uh, um, that we normally see for the front first article. Um, very important to us to sort of bring a big wow factor, hopefully, on this uh, the front page. Uh, and as you scroll across here, you'll see that uh, going past uh, what we're trying for an advert at the moment, uh, you'll see that uh, the little animation at the top there is uh, we switch between the light background and the uh, colored background of the uh, photo. Here is the main article layout. Uh, this is hopefully relatively familiar for anyone who's used to using Windows 8 uh, and particularly the Bing News app, with which some of which this uh, has been We've taken some inspiration from that uh, and you can see we've got things organized in sections so there's the news section here and as we scroll over here's reviews uh, i can then scroll further along to help um, which is sort of our tips environment apps uh, and all the way over to games uh, and if you'd rather not you know you can tap on the browse through these and tap on these links to go to the section page where you'll get to see sort of more games that we've covered uh, just in the sort of more common grid layout um, just people who want to be able to see the, the whole 20 articles rather than just seeing the, uh, the latest but if you'd rather uh, not, if you'd rather just sort of go straight to that section, you can swipe down from the top here, as well as the refresh button that we've offered down the bottom right there. You can just tap straight on one of these sections and go to that relative, relevant section. Uh, so back to the home screen, you can see if I tap on the uh, on the first option, I can get the, the uh, first article up, and this is our big full screen article reading uh, menu um, menu page. So we'll call it page. Uh, you can see at the bottom here I've got a little indication which tells me how many art uh, comments are on this article uh, and if I scroll through I can read the full text and as I get towards the end you see a little option here to do something else with this article. In this instance all we can do is share it and I could tap there to bring up the share menu and send off to Twitter, Facebook, use email or any, any of the apps really that can take links. Uh, or alternatively you can just use the standard share option from the side here if you prefer to do that with the charms. Uh, and I can swipe through articles as well, something which we don't necessarily do on our Windows Phone article, but for, on our Windows Phone app, but for Windows 8 this makes a lot of sense being able to sort of swipe through your articles and uh, see full details there. Uh, and if I swipe through uh, a little bit further to uh, an article that I know will have a video on it, uh, which should be this one here, no, next one. Uh, if I swipe through you can find then I've got a little option to watch videos in the article as I get to the end of what next as well. Uh, and tapping on that will bring up a, a pop out Looks exactly the same. Hopefully, more relatively similar with our uh, our Windows 8, uh, Windows Phone 8 app. Uh, and then tapping on this video will launch the uh, that relevant um, video in YouTube. And there's an advert playing from previously. I better close that tab. So that's that. That's how we uh, we currently handle videos. Um, and tapping on any of these links will also take you straight to uh, Internet Explorer to look at the store. And you can then carry on using the app in a snap mode. In fact, we can just demonstrate snap mode here. If I, for instance, bring up something like the weather app. The app continues to operate just as normal. And you can even see that this, uh, this should hopefully relatively well uh, stack itself up, knowing that it's a, a smaller screen. Uh, and the same thing goes if I uh, bring the whole thing to a portrait mode. Everything should shake down, and you'll see that we then support the app in portrait. So carrying on, uh, we've shown you the sections pages, we've shown you the, the general area. If I tap back into one of these articles again, and let's say I want to look at some comments, uh, I can just choose to swipe directly, uh, and that takes me to the comment screen. Uh, and the same if I swipe through this app and I'm looking at a different article, I just swipe up again, and there's my comments. Uh, alternatively, if you'd rather not, uh, if you haven't got a touch screen available to you and you're trying to use the app on uh, something with a keyboard and mouse, you'll probably find it easier to use this little button here that we've provided, which will do the, uh, the same job for you. Uh, so there you go. Um, I can go back to the comment screen. Let's just say on this Facebook update app, I've got 52 comments down here. Uh, I can now swipe through all the way through, look through the uh, 
look through these comments. You can also see that they're threaded fully. Um, we're probably going to just, before we put this out to uh, public beta, we'll probably sort out changing the color of these to show that they're clearly replies, uh, aside from just stepping uh, down. Uh, and if I do a, a test art test comment here, and send that, you'll see that I can correct, successfully comment on the uh, on the particular area. And I'll just delete that comment now because we don't need that to be in there. As you can see, we support deletion, we support uh, edits as well. Uh, and if I go to reply, you can see I get the option to reply and I can just tap that to cancel. Exactly the same way that we do in our Windows Phone app at the moment. Um, that's most of the, fu the core functionality at the moment that we feel. Uh, so we've shown you sharing, we've shown you videos, we've shown you the full comment support that we've done in there, hopefully on a nice friendly touch screen uh, way. Um, and hopefully with the live tile support that we're also offering and the full portrait support, this should be a relatively good starting point. Uh, of course, it's not the end point. We will be continuing to update and uh, improve the app as we go. Uh, but we hope you've enjoyed that uh, little, little preview here as to what's going on with, uh, with our Windows 8 app. So that's the app, we hope you enjoyed the first look at it. Uh, as I say, we've still got some things with kinks we need to work out before we even let this into a beta stage. Uh, but very soon we'll be taking this out to the public for public beta, you guys can all get your hands on it. Let us know what you think needs improving, mostly find all the crashes and the problems that are sure to be there. Uh, and with any luck, we'll get this into your hands within a few weeks. All right, take care everybody, thank you.